Basically what happened here was uh, we repainted this a few times. My base was too dark overall on the whole side. And I just couldn't get that light stone look I wanted without uh, having to look almost like as if it was spray painted. So I decided to do away with the red and the cracks. It was supposed to look like blood since it's an evil carnival. Uh, I'm going to come back in and put the red back into the letters again, but I've uh, gone over to detail on this thing. I can't tell you the amount of times. So I lost my depth with all my detail, and that's why I'm actually trying to come back in and put some, some dark into some of these spots that got way lightened out. And, uh, try to recover and not lose this piece overall. Unfortunately, uh, I guess it's, you know, growing pains of the first time of airbrushing, more or less. Finally got my paint mixture down pretty good. Can't, you know, can't complain too much there. Got to find another brand of paint, though, because this, uh, well, this works great. I burned through it too, too fast on these bigger pieces. And, uh, don't want to be paying $7 a little bottle. Even after I cut it down, I'm not getting a lot out of it. So, just figured I'd do a quick little video to give you guys kind of an idea of how I was going about doing this. I uh, learn from my own mistakes, I guess. Usually I get pretty worked up over messing up, but I guess I'm learning the more I do. It's just, you got to take it as it comes and work with what you got. No sense getting all aggravated. So, about the gist of it. It's starting to gain some depth back. I don't know if you can tell in the video or not. Also, the red is still bleeding through down here, which kind of gives a pretty cool effect. Like I said, this side is going to be about seven or eight feet up off the ground over, over top of the gate. So you're not going to really be on top of it, and it's going to be lit most likely with like a red light. 